Okay, folks, here it is, 5 o'clock in the morning, and I had glued my glasses back together with some super glue, and they broke again. So, unless I can glue these back together, I'm stuck here at the house. I'll be getting my new glasses Tuesday. I had a pair of spare glasses, and I have no clue to where I put them. Let me see how I'm going to do this. Like I did last time. I put this on top of here. Like so. Let me put some super glue on here. Kind of hold it. Hold it for a second. Well not going to work this time. Let's hope it does. Okay, let me put some super glue on here. I just can't believe I can't find my, my spare. I have no clue where I put them. My new glasses will be ready this coming Tuesday. You know, let me see if this is going to hold. Come on, come on, take, come on, super glue. I just can't believe I did this. Come on, come on, take. Well, it's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to try some more. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because I'm wasting a lot of time and I have some items I, I want to I wanna talk about this morning. Okay, what I did is I, I cut off a small piece of the ear protector and I put them right here on the glasses and I'm letting it dry. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Okay, folks, I guess you can see I got my glasses on. They sit on my face a little crooked. When you let money and profit become your God, then you can see what's happening or what has happened. You know that 18 billion dollars that these Wall Street executives gave themselves while not legally wrong is so morally corrupt and vile that it's just beyond imagination. Uh, they see what's coming and they're making sure that they feather their nest. Here we have a 93-year-old World War II veteran who freezes to death because the electric company put a timer on his house. And I put some links on the sidebar of the news articles where you can read the entire story. I also put a link of a woman who froze to death in Montana. She was uh, from Oklahoma. The circumstances are very strange. You can read that article too. I remember a song by Simon and Garfunkel. It said, and the people bowed and prayed to the neon gods that made. I want to change it up a little bit. And the people bowed and prayed to Wall Street and the corporations that they had made. When you have this type of corruption and this type of greed that has damaged and will continue to damage so many people in our great country, then it's incomprehensible what's happened to our values, what's happened to our morals. We've become pretty decadent, haven't we? When everything is for profit not caring about mainstream America, not caring about jobs being outsourced to other countries, not caring that these jackals whose criminal activity is just dissolving America into a state of chaos. And uh, I don't think we've seen the, the tip of the criminal activity that's gone on. It's just amazing. And we probably never will. If anything, 
that has been done to kill the free markets, to kill Wall Street. It's them. These executives, these CEOs, John Thain, lavish expenditures on their office, over a million dollars that man spent, and there's no accountability, there's no one being brought to justice, there's no one demonstrating on Wall Street, you know, I guess we have become a nation of sheep, haven't we? We post all these videos, and, uh, and I'm just as guilty, and essentially we do nothing. Back in my generation in the late 60s, at least we got out and demonstrated by thousands and tens of thousands. And I just don't see that happening today. I don't know if the people are so conditioned. Um, I have no explanation. Anyway, it's distressing. And uh, it's going to be a while before I put up another video on YouTube is I'm going to get my new glasses and last Thursday I had a tooth pulled for the first time I've had a tooth pulled in like 10 years. All these are still my own teeth. Um, so once again I want to thank all my new subscribers and I want to thank the people that uh, subscribed to my videos and I understand we all have different points of view. Uh, some of the people are liberal, some are conservative, uh, some are independent. And, and uh, we all express our truth. We all express our opinion. And the main thing to remember that, you know, it's only your truth. It's only your opinion. Your truth might be someone else's lie. And their lie might be your truth. So, take care until I see you again. And... Have a good Sunday morning, my friends.